In this video, we work with the slope-intercept form of an equation of a line, and we use that form to find the slope and the y-intercept of our line. So the slope-intercept form is this equation y equals mx plus b, and you've probably heard that used before. Notice some things about it. So the equation is solved for y, so solved for y, y is isolated on one side of the equal sign, and the x term and the constant are on the other side of the equal sign. And when you have the equation of the line in this form, then the coefficient of x, so the number in front of x, that will be your slope. That will be the slope of your line. And the constant that's on the right-hand side with the x term, that constant is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. And so it will correspond to this order paired 0, comma, b. So look at the example in example 1. And it says, identify the slope and y-intercept. And it gives us the equation y equals 4x minus 10, which is already in slope-intercept form. And you can recognize that because there, the y is isolated on one side of the equal sign. So that means that this 4 is your slope. So m equals 4, and then that negative 10, that will be your y-intercept, and you want to write it as an ordered pair, 0, negative 10. Now, when you go to example number 2, this equation is not as in slope-intercept form. This is, equation is in standard form of a line, and if you recall, standard form is ax plus by equals c. So notice how our equation number 2 is in standard form. We first want to rewrite this by solving for y. So you want to isolate that y. So we're going to subtract the 3x from both sides, and we'll get y equals negative 3x plus 8. Now this is in slope-intercept form, so now we can read off of it the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope will be the coefficient of x, so the slope is negative 3. And just a note here that sometimes students will write that the slope is 3x, but again, it's the number in front of the variable x that is the slope, so negative 3. And you know that corresponds to a negative 3 over 1, so that our rise over run, we've got that ratio there that we've been talking about for slope. So slope is negative 3, and then our y-intercept as an order pair will be 0, 8, using that constant that you have in the slope-intercept form. Problem 3 is once again in standard form, so we want to rewrite and that means we're going to solve for y once again. So rewrite, solve for y. So we're going to subtract the 7x from both sides, and then we're going to divide all three terms by this negative 3. So everything gets divided by that negative 3 so that we can isolate for y, and y is equal to 7 thirds x minus 3 when we reduce this fraction over here. So our slope will be the fraction. So slope is 7 thirds. And then we have here our b that gives us the y-intercept of 0, negative 3. Example 4 is a special line. This is one of our special cases, and you should be recognizing this as a horizontal line. Okay, but even if you didn't recognize it as a horizontal line, we could rewrite this as y equals 0 times x minus 6, right? Notice that there's no x variable in the original equation, but if we write a 0 times x, that represents a 0. So this is slope-intercept form here, right? And so that tells us something about the slope of horizontal lines, and the slope is 0. So all horizontal lines, this is just a fact that you want to learn or memorize, that all horizontal lines have slope equal to 0. And here's another way to see that. 
when we rewrite this horizontal line equation in slope intercept form. Then the horizontal line will go through the y intercept of 0, negative 6. As you know from a horizontal line, all of the points on the line will have a y value of negative 6. So 0, negative 6 is on this line. So again, important thing that I want you to, to remember is that all horizontal lines have slope equal to 0. Now compare that to problem number 5. This is a vertical line now. So now we have a vertical line. No y variable in the equation. So talking about rewriting this in slope intercept form makes no sense whatsoever. Actually, as you know, vertical lines have slope that is undefined. So all vertical lines have undefined slope. And when you look at the graph of a vertical line, so let's take a look at that. Here's my vertical line, x equals 11. What do you see and what do you realize about the y-intercept? This one has no y-intercept. So the vertical line will have an x-intercept at 11, 0, but it does not cross the y-axis because it's parallel to the y-axis. We'll be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines soon. So again, you want to just remember that, that all vertical lines have undefined slope, no y-intercept.